Hi, my name is Zach and I'm a support engineer in Blackmagic Design's Singapore office. Now in this video, I want to show you how to create and manage proxies using the Blackmagic Proxy Generator. The Proxy Generator application allows you to create watch folders, which automatically create proxies from your camera originals, speeding up your editing workflow in DaVinci Resolve. Now let's see how this works. Now first, you would need the Proxy Generation application. So simply install DaVinci Resolve 18 from our website at blackmagicdesign.com, hit into the Applications folder, and launch the Blackmagic Proxy Generator application. Now, when you first launch it, it will prompt you to add your first watch folder, or you can add your watch folder manually by clicking the Add button over here. So I'm going to go into a folder that I have, a bunch of Blackmagic RAW files over here that I would like to generate proxies for. So this is going to be my watch folder. I'm going to press open and it will be added into the list of watch folders. Next, we're going to choose between the available codecs over here. So we have H.264, H.265 and ProRes if you're on a Mac. So for this demo, I'm going to use H.264 and all I need to do is hit the start button. So the proxies will begin generating. And I also want to show you is that a proxy subfolder will actually be automatically created. And inside this proxy subfolder, you can see that the proxies are being generated one after the other. Once it's completed, you can see it over here in the indication. And the Blackmagic Proxy Generator will actually continue to watch and scan this watch folder for new files every few minutes. So if I continue to add in new files, for example, I have these new files over here, add it into the original media. In a few minutes, the Blackmagic Proxy Generator will rescan this folder and realize that, hey, there are four new files over here. And then it will create the proxies for that automatically. If you would wish to manually trigger an immediate proxy generation. All I need to do is click stop and then click start one more time. And then it will begin to generate the proxies for the newly added files. What's more is that if I take the original media and I go into DaVinci Resolve over here and I were to import them, what happens? is that DaVinci Resolve knows where in the file tree to find the proxies, instantly linking them into the camera originals in the media pool. So you can see over here, there is actually a proxy icon indicating that I'm actually viewing and working with the proxies. So if I want to switch to camera originals, all it takes is one click. So go to the top menu over here under playback, proxy handling, and over here is where I'll be able to switch between proxies and camera originals. Now, when you click on camera originals, you can see that the proxy icon has gone off. This tells me that I'm actually working with the camera original files. This means that I'm able to very, very quickly work in proxy mode for my editing and then switch to the camera originals when I'm doing color grading work or fusion work. Now, this is incredibly effective and fast to do. Now, if you wish to, you can also delete the proxies or extract the proxies from the proxy generation application into a separate folder for your offline work. Now, I hope that this video is helpful in showing you how the proxy generation application can speed up your editing workflow. Now, for more information, please visit our website at blackmagicdesign.com. Thank you.